for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an offense for you guys today out of my Raiders offensive ebook that I just put out about two weeks ago. I'm still putting out a lot of content for it. I've only got two ebooks out on offense. I got the Niners and the Raiders. I really don't know which one's my favorite because, to be honest with you, they both have their, very sh their fair share of very glitchy plays, including the scheme I'm going to show you guys today. Formation itself is the wing flex close. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a full breakdown of this offense, all the best run plays and pass plays in this formation. There's probably close to 10 plays in total. And it's, you know, it's got a ton of really good plays. One of my favorite plays is definitely the four verticals. I'm going to put these into my audibles like I always do. I would say the drive wide corner would definitely be one that I would keep. Uh, the four verticals, which is a play I'm going to start, of, start off with, that's definitely one that I would have as well. And then the last pass play would probably be the smash. That's going to be one of the better ones. But we're definitely going to start off with the four verticals. So let's go and let's pick that first. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two zone. Like we typically do and work our way back through the zone coverages. As always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is click the link in the description and check them out. Make sure you use code MONEY to get 3% off what's already the cheapest coins on the market. With this play, you can really make a couple of different motions. You can, on every play, you can either motion out this guy here, which I typically don't do. I typically motion out the receiver side because there's more explosive players on that side. But this is pretty much all I have to do is put these guys on streaks on the inside. You can even leave them, honestly. You don't even have to change the uh, the routes that they're on, especially against cover two. But against cover three, you definitely want to get in the habit of putting these inside guys on streaks. And then this is going to be it. You just motion out rugs here, which is something that um, once he gets past this cornerback is gonna have a lot of success now i don't know what happened that pass lead really slowed down the trajectory of that throw maybe I have to move the ball over a little bit just to get there I mean, you definitely always want to run it from a hash mark that's always going to be the best practice run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field that will give you the best results but without a doubt i mean now i'll probably have a little bit more room to pass lead because that last throw really just died the second left my dude's hand what was that pass rush right there and we're still getting bad pass leads i don't know it's because that uh, pass rush was so ferocious the running back, you don't really need the running back. I like the running back. He's a really good check down. But you don't really need the running back doing that. If you feel like you need more blocking, uh, there's a number of adjustments you can make. I mean, I could motion this guy across because that defensive end really went through that left tackle. I could motion him across, have him double team on that side. I mean, there's a number of things uh, that I could do because I don't really need to even motion this guy out. You can see right here, Henry Ruggs with it. I don't know. He just he just glitched. He, that was a glitch in the matrix right there. I don't even know what happened as he just completely froze the defender after the catch. But you can see you don't even have to make that motion to have success so this play here I still find you know you could just streak everybody there the pass lead is not as big of a deal but you can see oh, look at this man. I'm just making this guy I'm just making this guy get cut from the league we're making moves like this against them but you can see it's a really explosive play at the very least you get that one-on-one -on -one. I want to run past this guy though so I don't know if this is something that EA patched because like I said I put this out so long ago that you know maybe they did something to, to make to mess with the accuracies here but you can see if you make that motion there he was just wide open there was nothing Thing, um, even close to him the safety wasn't even close against cover three once again I got my option as far as of whether or not I want to motion this guy out the only real adjustment I have to make is I have to put the B route here on a fade and you have to run it from the hash mark those are the only two things I'm gonna block my running back although like I say it's a really good check down against cover three and you can see that this uh, this receiver here just gets right over the top of the cover three cornerback very easy like I said you could you know do two different variations you can motion them out if you want to, I'll go ahead and I'll go to the replay. The reason this works is because these, these I don't want to call them wheel routes, or they kind of are. They're like small, wheel, mini wheel routes. They don't really go as long as a traditional wheel route does from like a running back. But you can see how these cornerbacks have to react. They have to kind of split between the two. And that's why this guy here just gets right going up the seam. And I don't know, for whatever reason, the safety typically turns his attention away from this particular receiver. But depending on what the safety does, you could really bomb it up on either side. So just keep that in mind. Uh, he's turning his attention there because I ran a fade on this side and a streak on this side. So if you ran streaks on both sides, you can really throw to either one. But if you run a fade, a streak on one, which gets up the field faster than the fade, that's why this has success. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, right here, we'll do we'll do both. We'll put them both on uh, on regular streaks. Although I'm messing everything up. Put them both on regular streaks and you'll see, I mean, well, number one, the safety on this side is starting closer to Waller, but you can see he still made it through. So it really depends, I guess, on where you run it on the field or what type of tight end you have. 
Like if I run it from the other side, if I run from just like center of the field, say, let's go and let's run it right from the middle. It's really helpful to know that you can get both of these receivers going if need be. And then once again, like I said, you're really just like, if I make that motion, that safety might pay more attention to the other side. You really just have to pay attention to where that safety is. It's really that simple. He was closer to the tight end, so I went the other way. It's really that easy. It's a simple play. It destroys cover three, destroys cover two. So now we're gonna cover one man. Now you can see how these, these streaks in the center at the A and the B route really just go right towards that cover one safety. I'm gonna leave that alone. We're gonna run it just like this. Like I said, that, that running back is still a really good check down, but you can see how this receiver here basically just gets right past the cornerback. It helps to have a guy like Henry Ruggs running that. I have been using the same receivers this entire time, uh, but I think if we flip it, we might get that we might get that switch. So now we have Zay Jones running it, who's not a very good receiver in Madden. Let's see how he does as he's going to get right past that corner back as well although obviously here the throw is a little bit behind so you can see he's behind him is the bottom line i didn't really have a lot of success but we'll do that again like i said he got past that's the bottom line if you get past you're going to win the play so let's go let's run this one more time i said he's just gonna he's gonna get up the field past the receiver and then you just need a good throw which i'm not sure if i have but you can see boom we get it right there so zay jones below average receiver he's still beating the defense the same way if you have a cover zero you obviously can't run this play as is, you're gonna need a little bit more blocking. So I would say blocking the running back or the tight end, it's really up to you. Maybe put the RB route on a drag because the receivers are gonna be all you need is one of them should have a lot of success. You can see right here, this guy just runs right past the safety. That's because typically safeties are not very good in man coverage. Let's go ahead and let's flip that play, get it going to the other side and do the exact same thing. You're gonna see same thing, different safety, same result. He just gets inside float it up typically to beat man coverage is really simple you just have to float it up uh, and run under the ball so the four verticals you see it beats cover two cover three zone uh man blitz man one man zero any one of those defenses as long as it's not man cover two so that play right there beats just about every single defense in the game uh cover six cover nine things like that you know different coverages typically have a cover two side on it so you can attack that the only thing we really didn't show anything for was cover four so we have a couple of plays that can have a lot of success against cover four the drive wide corner and the smash both can work so we put both of them in our audibles let's go and let's pick the drive wide corner we're just going to basically show both on this next play and then we're going to go with the cover four drop contain which is probably the most popular cover four so for this play against cover four you really have multiple looks here the smash will work against cover four and the drive wide corner will work against cover four all you have to do is streak uh the route next to the uh, the corner route so the you know on this play we just streak the x route on the original play we just streak the rb route we're going to be attacking the corner route pretty much every time which is going to be a big cover four play as you can see right here we can just basically get outside of that because those outside safeties just don't react very well so you really have two plays and the reason i bring that up is because the user typically is going to be a bigger issue than the actual zone coverage of the defense so if you want to go to the other side if you see your user cheating to one side or the other you basically can just tack the other side you don't have to make really any adjustments other than choosing another play and this is going to be the same pretty much any zone coverage. Now, the A route's a really good man beater as well. Um, this particular play is probably more loaded with man beaters. But I just wanted to show how against just about any defense you can do this. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We're going to back out and switch to random. So now we're in random. We don't even have to know what the defense is. We can basically attack both sides of the field. This is looking like it's definitely a cover two. Maybe it was a cover four quarters. I'm not really sure. But it's going to be the same read. These two routes are going to beat just about every defense. So let's go ahead and let's switch over to the smash. I'm not even reading the defense. I'm just doing I'm, I don't have to it's basically these plays are very similar too by the way as you can see you have your same check downs with the drag and the 10 yard in route on both so it's basically the exact same play but you're just flipping it to the point where um you know one side is the receivers running it one side the tight ends are running it and it's just something that you can go both sides of the field and your opponent's never really going to have any success stopping these plays that looked like it might have been a cover four quarters might have been a man coverage it doesn't really matter you can see the play works on both sides so that's really the point of these two plays they're pretty much the same i feel like the a route is probably the best man beater of the bunch as you can see right here I mean, that was just a, a little bit of a bad throw as the, the, the tight end, the receiver kind of ran into one another. But if you're, if you're noticing a little bit more man coverage than anything else, the A route probably is the best man coverage. And it doesn't really matter because they're still having a lot of success. So you can definitely get some one play touchdowns out of this as well. 
especially when it comes to the smash um, I'll show some one play touchdowns for that in a second but as far as you know just your typical um, you know just running this against anything you can see it's gonna be success I have no idea what the defense is right now it really doesn't matter but the smash does have a one play touchdown against cover three so let's go and let's pick that we'll end the video with another cover three one play touchdown we're gonna to pick the cover three sky we will have to run this from the open side of the field that'll be the only thing gotta run it from a hash mark and then you just have to streak the uh, the X route. Streak the X route, a block on the running back. Motion this guy here out, put him on a streak, and then put the A route on a streak, and that's all you have to do. The X route, you can put him on a fade. I actually think the fade's a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter. As you're going to see, this guy here is just going to get open right over the top. of. The, I, was, I don't know what happened there. I guess I got pressured. Uh, but you can see he was over the top of that of that uh, cornerback, which is all that really matters. So we'll slide a protection left block on running back this time here. If that pressure comes in, it uh, shouldn't be as much of an issue. Like I said, motion this guy out. The motion won't look strange because we've made a lot of motions in this formation. So we're going to do this one more time. Like I said, that X right there, that cornerback just doesn't know who to react to. And it's just a really easy one play touchdown. This is something I've put out on multiple formations. There's so many great run plays in this formation. There's at least four, if not five, that you could use and create a, a, an amazing running attack to go along with some of these amazing pass plays. Let's go and let's put them all in our formation. Now, I already have all the uh, plays in my uh, audibles here. Uh, the halfback zone week is probably my favorite it's gonna be a very good inside run the stretch is definitely the best outside run although the toss week is something that I know a lot of people prefer so there's a lot of really good run plays inside or out and then you also have a jet sweep so make sure you have your fastest receiver in this particular spot so make sure your fastest guys here because he's gonna get the ball quite a bit so this is the four plays like I said I will start off it doesn't really matter what play I start off with because I'm gonna be going through all of them and telling you guys what reads to look for but I would say if I'm gonna run a five play run scheme the halfback dive obviously is just a good up to gut run so if you're looking at something you know we're gonna go we're gonna go random uh four three although i'm not sure how many four three formations they have yeah they have more four three formations so we'll go random four three here the dive is not a play i'm really going to highlight it's just essentially you know you just want something so that there's nothing covering the center i mean i could run it right here and just get a couple of yards this is definitely not one of the better run plays but you want to have it in your audibles from time to time so the better run plays without a doubt right here right off the bat looks like we're getting uh, a, a double safety blitz this would be a perfect opportunity for either the toss or the jet sweep because basically once those guys shoot in i have a pretty good chance of being gone by the time that they they, they make it uh either to the blocks or just you know <laughs> that's going to be the best way try to go around that blitz would be the best way to do that i don't really have a ton of speed in this uh backfield with jacobs who's a good running back but he's not really that fast so i don't know if i'll get a ton of explosive uh, run plays in this video but the faster you're running back the better so like i said my favorite play definitely gonna be the zone week this is definitely a good opportunity for that as you can see anytime that that defensive end is out wide like that away from the defensive tackle that's a perfect opportunity to run this play you can also motion over one of these tight ends and kind of create like a bunch look uh, obviously if you bring the, the the box safety down it's a little bit of a deterrent so I know a lot of people will say just run it as is because that box safety being back is going to be helpful it's going to just create more um, you know get more yards before that safety comes into the box but it's really it's something you can do against pretty much any one of these run plays so let's go and let's run this real quick but I cannot see I'm legally blind as you can see, I mean, there, I could just take it out wide. I didn't really like the way the bunch looked. Uh, but typically, you're going to want to make that read first. You're going to make the inside run read first and then run it outside. So here we go. Like I said, you want to have that dive because this is this is a, this is definitely a dive look. You can see they don't have anybody covering the center. So, you know, you can get that effect as well. If you see, you know, right here, we have the zone weak. You can just flip the zone weak and you're pretty much running right in the same area as that dive. But you can see it just doesn't block the same. So that is the exact same defense. We get a very different result so that's something that you know you want to keep the zone weak uh, because to me the block is just a little bit different keep the zone weak for this type of look right here you have that that defensive end he's out really far you have your, your defensive tackle you have your spacing right there we're just gonna go right for that and I'll make my motion I'll bring this guy across you can make a lot of good passing plays out of this type of offense because you basically have uh, a bunch cluster there but it also really helps when it comes to the run plays you can see we're just gonna have a lot of success getting inside that hole there so if you're gonna run a zone weak uh, you know you're, you're that's typically just looking for gaps but if you're gonna see something like this looks like like it's probably a cover three 
Um, you could easily switch over to any one of these plays. The toss, weak, the stretch, or the jet sweep will all have success best against cover three and cover four defenses. So let's go and let's pick the, jet, or the stretch. We can do any number of things. We can run it behind the receivers. We can run it behind the tight ends. It really doesn't matter. As you can see, the cornerbacks just typically play them, take themselves out of the play. I could easily switch right over to the toss. You know, and once again, you can make this motion across. You can try to give yourself a block advantage. You can even motion out the receivers like you would typically with some of the pass plays that I'll probably be showing in the next video. But you can see, I mean, this is just a really good blocking scheme to get yourself a lot of success to the outside against those type of defenses where the, where the defenders pull back. So let's go and let's go with the jet sweep. Like I said, just to show you guys, it's the exact same uh, setup. Once again, the cornerbacks pull themselves back, although this time we have our fastest player on the field, which is Henry Ruggs carrying the ball. To me, the toss play might be back. It might be, um, you know, some of the toss plays in years past were not very good, but these pulling blockers just do a lot better job of picking people up, as you can see right there. I mean, if they, it's just the way the blocking sets up in Madden 22. Uh, if, they, if they get a piece for some reason, they just really slow down the defenders. So we'll go and we'll do that again. Stretch plays are a little bit different. I don't find the stretch plays work as well because I feel like they have to get on their blocks a little bit better. But you can see we're still having success. So all I'm really doing is I'm flipping to the wide receiver side. I don't know why I prefer to run it to the wide receiver side. I just do. Uh, but you can see all these run plays are going to be successful. And then last but not least, once again, the jet sweep. You're going to see all I have to do is get outside because this cornerback here, he immediately runs back even though there's no defenders in his way. And I can just basically get around and get to the edge. And I'm picking up an average of probably 10 plus with all three of these run plays, uh, making it a very successful run scheme. The jet sweep is the fourth play here because it's not something you should run all the time, but it's a good play to mix in for sure. Uh, we're going to run the toss one more time, make that motion. You can see this guy actually, uh, he went away from the play, so that can actually help me out even more. And then you can see here, this is a huge hole. I don't know if I have enough speed to get going. This would be a perfect way to end the video. And we will with a touchdown on the toss against the blitz. So that's definitely something to remember. If somebody's blitzing you heavy for man blitz, you can definitely hit them with that toss play. Uh, but without a doubt, there's some really great plays to be had here. This is your most consistent inside the Havoc Zone Week. Your halfback stretch, best against cover three and cover four. Your man coverage, you know, man blitz beaters are the toss week. And then the jet sweep is pretty much good against anything other than cover two uh, zone. So just really simple reads to make when it comes to these plays. I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see some corresponding pass plays that are just as explosive and probably, in my opinion, I'm more of a passing player. So the passing plays are probably even better than run plays. If you guys want to see more plays out of this formation or a full breakdown of this offense, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.